All right, back to the book. At the Kodokan, we study and practice techniques with the purpose of using mental and physical energy most efi- most effectively in order to achieve one's goal no matter what the endeavor, which is the basic principle of judo. And he's going to talk about this a ton. The basic principle of judo is like efficiency. So those in training do not merely, now, but this is so important. Those in training do not merely imitate the actions of the master or, or practice without understanding the reasons behind what they are doing but rather consider the methods and train in accordance with detailed principles. For that reason, what once took five or six years to achieve can now be accomplished in three years. This is huge in jiu-jitsu, and I saw this transition take place. When I started learning jiu-jitsu, we learned moves. Now, everyone teaches concepts. I mean, you still teach moves, but if you don't know the principles of them, and it's the same thing when I was teaching guys in the teams, like you teach them a a maneuver on the battlefield, you can learn the mechanics of the move on the battlefield, but if you don't understand why those mechanics are important, then it doesn't make, you don't even have, you don't have it, you don't get it. Same thing in the business world. You can tell someone like, hey, here's what you should tell your subordinates right now. Yeah, yeah. But that technique, they can use it and it'll work okay, but that's nothing compared to saying, here's why it's important that you tell your subordinates this thing and here's how you wanna lead them. That's what gives them the game is when they understand the principles. Yeah, yeah, that's why those introductory courses are so critical, and I'm talking about jujitsu, obviously, where you get a, a new guy, first day guy, and he jumps in a class, and yeah. in the class they're teaching you know the mechanics of a certain move. Meanwhile, everyone in the class they're not first day people; they know the concepts behind it. But they come in, and it's just it's a, just a different language. It doesn't stick. Yeah, you it's just can mechanical yeah, moves. Yeah, it's like trying to teach someone if you if you if you had a non native English speaker, and you walk in and you're going to teach him of you know a vocabulary word. Yeah, which is like you know audacious. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. he has no context to put that in. That's not the yeah. word to teach him. He doesn't even know how to say I. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So when you te- start teaching someone a Uma Plata, yeah, and they don't understand what an arm lock are, is they're gonna have issues. Yeah, that's like you teaching give them, them fundamentals. Uh, do you want ketchup with that? Teach someone who doesn't know any English. Do you want ketchup with? Teach them that, and then send them out. He doesn't know when to use that. You know, I know how to say it. Well, you're not just gonna roll into the post office and be like, "Hey, do you want ketchup with that?" It doesn't make sense. No, it does unusable. Not. 